Hello. Last week, we got quite a few support desk emails and phone calls saying, did you see the 7.30 report on Shonky Solar? What do you think? Well, no, I didn't. So Ronald and I are going to watch it and let you know what we think in real time. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm Never born ready. Grr. Australia's rooftop solar revolution is unmatched by any other country. Solar is growing at a rate that you wouldn't have expected, particularly over the last 12 months. More than 2.7 million homes now have panels on the roof. But the switch to solar hasn't come easy for everyone. We're on a low tariff, so it's not going to be that far. We got our first power bill. There was minimal saving, if anything. So we basically just thought we'd been chipped. 26106 credit. In 2017, a solar salesman told Wayne and Sam Manette they could eliminate their electricity bill. I don't know, but I'm guessing door-to-door -door salesman? Quite possibly, yes, yes. Um, yeah, you can, over a year, end up with a credit, get a large enough solar system, but, you know, it all depends on the size of a solar system, how much electricity you use, where you are. Be very careful of someone that marches in your house and goes, yep, you'll get a zero dollar bill. Because mm. it's not going to be exactly zero. <laughs> no. It might be negative, it might be positive, but it depends on a lot of things. We've got a calculator on the website that will estimate it quite accurately, if you want to double check. Mm. Moving on. It was around $12,000. $12,000. Uh, when was this and how large is the system? Uh, I counted the panels, there were 18. Oh, well, that, that's not very large. 6.6 .6 probably. Yeah, and when was this, like a couple of years ago? Yeah. That sounds like it was an expensive system. It should have been really good. All right, so this is, get, this is getting the hallmarks of a door-to-door -door salesman. I'm guessing door knocker. I am guessing got ripped off. Like 12 grand is double what you should pay for a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system. And I'm suspecting really cheap components, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else he's got to say. Through finance. Oh, you got it through finance. Yeah. Well, Buy now, pay later, probably. Yes, that's really going to kick up the cost. That's the modus operandi of the door knockers. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, we'll give you a solar system. It will get your bill to zero. Um, they'll give you a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system because that's the easiest one for them to do. Um, they'll use the cheapest components possible so they get a nice fat margin. Um, they'll use buy now, pay later finance. So it seems like a reasonable monthly repayment, which masks the fact that you're paying twice as much as you should. Um, and we had no reason to think it was going to be a problem. It's not an easy thing to research, especially. It's not an easy thing to research. Well, I think we, there's a site which has some information on it. I'm not going to sell my own book here. This is the last, I'll say, on solar quotes, but I've spent the last 12 years of my life putting together a website with mm -hmm. colleagues like Ronald, making it really easy to research. But, especially for the layman. For the layman. But their electricity bill went down less than $20 a quarter. Then in 2019, the local power network called to say the system wasn't feeding any electricity into the grid. So he paid 12 grand for a six kilowatt system, I think. Yep. Uh, he got it on finance and then the system basically didn't stop, never really worked properly and then ground to a halt completely. Mm. I Googled the maker of the inverter, nowhere to be found. I was getting angry, Wayne's getting angry, and I'm suggesting to Wayne, ring up so-and-so, and he says, I've had enough. So what should have happened there to Wayne if he'd bought the system off a reputable solar company is as soon as there's a problem with the system, the person responsible for the system and the panel, no matter what the brands, and the inverter, no matter what the brands, is the person you've got the contract with, the person you paid the money to, the solar company that took your money. So. It all started with, unfortunately for Wayne, a really bad choice of solar company. The inverter, the crucial piece of technology that converts solar energy to electricity to be used in the home, had failed. Hey Wayne. Kevin, how you going, mate? Good to see you again. Good to see you too, bud. Thought we'd come and check out the system, see how it's working. I decided to... Now that's some good news. Yes. Wayne's found a good guy. Yes. Kevin Schaefer from Solstra. Mm hmm Who knows what he's doing and can actually, you know, hopefully sort things out. We know Kevin, he's a Solar Quotes client and he's first class. Mm-hmm. So I think, this, I think he's going to sort him out. Yes. So I'm, I, don't know how, I don't know how he found Kevin, but 
Nice one. You've obviously done your research there, Wayne. Yeah. After being bitten. Yep. Good yep. on you, mate. Yeah. It's just a pity you didn't go to him first. Call someone and just get these solar panels off my roof. I don't have anything to do with it whatsoever. All right. We'll go back to how we had it and I'll pay the loan off and just consider it as a lesson learned. You know, one of the problems that we had last time was that... Local installer Kevin Schaefer convinced Wayne he could fix the system by replacing the inverter and making other modifications. The inverter had been installed on a west wall um, in direct sunlight, um, so it had been exposed to the, to the sun and the heat and it failed due to that. Uh, and again, that's a, a poor installation practice. Everything's holding up well up yeah. there. Kevin Schaefer believes the training for installers isn't adequate. Just make sure there's no debris in and under. You really need to have spent time working in the in industry with people who have knowledge and experience to get to a point where you can then go ahead and do a, a solar installation on your own or with your own team. Now, um, I'm not going to comment on solar installer training because I'm not a solar installer and I haven't been to the training, so I don't think it'd be appropriate. But what the root cause is that we have some installers doing shitty installs. Now that's in Victoria. So the other problem is the inspection regime in Victoria is fundamentally broken. There are crappy systems passing inspections all the time, even though they're all inspected. They need to get rid of their current system, replace it with one that works, such as one in Tasmania. I suspect you're now going to get lots of people saying, oh, we need to come up with all these crazy schemes to protect solar consumers. Mm. A, solar a bad solar installation is just your classic dodgy tradie problem. Yeah. There's nothing special about solar. Nope. It's a home improvement done by a tradie and it's an electrical safety problem. Mm -hmm. um, if Wayne, if there'd been a proper electrical inspection regime in Victoria, Wayne's, I can't see how Wayne's system would have passed if it was so badly installed that it failed. So it wasn't working properly to start with and then it failed completely very quickly after. And mm -hmm. You'll hear people saying you need, to, you need to do this, you need to do that. We know the solution. Tasmania have solved it. Yes. In Tasmania, there's an electrical inspection for every single solar system that's installed. And here's the crucial part. It's done by the organization that's responsible for electrical safety in that state, which in mm -hmm. Tasmania is the Department of Justice. In Victoria, last time I checked, I believe they're trying to improve the system, but last time I checked, which was fairly recently, the Installers that installed the system could choose their own inspector. You can see how that might lead to inspectors passing systems they shouldn't. And they do because it happens all the time. There are so, yeah, it's happening all the time in Victoria. So the solution's there, they're doing it in Tasmania. Yes, they're, they're spending the money on the inspection, but they're doing it poorly. It's just pointless. There's, there's proof it doesn't work. Yeah. Now, the other thing they need to do is they need to tie the electrical license which the, um, the organization responsible for electrical safety in each state and territory are responsible for issuing. And if you fail too many of these inspections or you make do something really dangerous, you get your electrical license taken off you. Now, to, for that to work, they need to make it mandatory everywhere in Australia that you need an electrical license, not just to install solar, but to sell, sell solar. Now that is the case in New South Wales in ACT, in Northern Territory. Uh, have I missed anywhere out? Uh, in SA, <laughs> where we're sitting. Where they need to fix it is in WA and in uh, Victoria. Victoria is the big one, where we are here. In Victoria, you don't need an electrical license to sell solar. In WA, you don't need an electrical license to sell solar. So even if a retailer is responsible for getting dodgy systems installed, they can continue to sell solar because the electrical license getting taken off the installation subcontractor doesn't affect them, they just get a new electrical subcontractor. So they need to fix that. The consumer watchdog says it too is receiving a steady flow of complaints about solar, almost 500 in the first half of this year. The big ones really are misleading representations about what you're actually purchasing, what value you're going to get from it, as well as real concerns around faulty installations. Again, we've got everything in place. You said there's two problems. It's with the retailers making bad promises. Australian consumer law does protect you against that. Um, and then it's about electrical safety. Again, I've given the solution for that. Proper inspections by the electrical safety regulators in each state and territory, and then you tie the electrical license to the right to sell solar 
all across Australia. So I'm looking at you, WA and Vic. Research the company that you're buying your system from. Make sure they're an approved solar retailer. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with that suggestion? Um, so Darren from the Clean Energy Council, who's he's a great guy and he cares deeply about the solar industry, I know that. Um, but I don't know why he defends the approved solar retailer scheme. The approved solar retailer scheme is for approving retailers. It's nothing to do with accredited installers. That's about the electrical safety side of things. I could, I could fill half an hour talking about how the approved solar retailer scheme went from being fantastic to being uh, about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Um, all I will say is if it worked, you wouldn't have a list of solar retailers that includes the company I would personally rate as the worst solar retailer in Australia based on feedback I've had and the amount of reviews that come into solar quotes. Um, they became a approved solar retailer a year or two ago and the reviews for them have not improved. Uh, I can't recommend using a, going with an approved retailer. Uh, you have to do research. Yes, there are approved retailers who are great, mm. but there are some real stinkers among them. So just because it says approved retailer means nothing. Unfortunately, I wish it didn't. I wish mm. it didn't. I wish at Solar Quotes we could use approved solar retailer as to be very, very confident that those people are good and that they were accountable but we can't, so we've got to put an enormous amount of effort into vetting them ourselves. I'd love not to have to do that. Last year, the federal government announced a rooftop solar sector review to look at a range of issues, including the accreditation process for installers and protecting consumers from inappropriate sales and poor installations. That review is yet to be released. Accredited solar installers, that's basically about the training. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually really good. Yeah. I personally think the, that's, the Clean Energy Council is mostly responsible for that. I personally think they do a good job of that. They set up a good scheme. Um, yes. You're always going to have dodgy ones, but you catch those with inspections. Yeah. Like you can have the best training in the world. Mm. You're always going to have... Someone doesn't care about doing good work. Yeah. It won't help. We welcome initiatives by governments to raise the bar on standards for solar. Because we know... Oh, what are you saying there? The standards for solar are yeah. brilliant, yeah, right? Very You've got the Australian standards for solar are absolutely fantastic. You've got AS5033, which is the uh, standard mm -hmm. for the installation of solar systems, for putting the panels on your roof mm. um, and how you design them and everything. It's brilliant. That doesn't need to be improved. You've got the uh, Australian standard for batteries. I've forgotten the number. AS... 5139, electrical installation, safety of battery systems. You know, if anything, it's a bit over the top, but it's, <laughs> it's really, really good, world leading. You've got the Australian standard AS4777.1, which is about grid connection of energy systems via inverters, the installation requirements. Again, brilliant, covers everything, written by very smart people. And then you've got AS4777.2, which is the inverter requirements, what the inverter has to do. Again, it's brilliant, it's world leading. They're putting in stuff to uh, make them interactive with the grid so we can integrate more solar. It's not a standards problem, sorry. Some consumers have taken their grievances to state tribunals. If you ask my wife, <laughs> it'd be maybe different. She asked me to let it go, I don't know many, how many times. She asked me to let it go. Um, but I couldn't. See these indentations here. Michael Hoffman was awarded $20,000 by the New South Wales Civil and Administrative Tribunal after he took on retailer Sunboost over damage to his shed roof during the installation. The... Well, the system works for him. Yeah, but he never should have had to go through all that nonsense in the first place. No. I it... mean, a inspector should come in and look at that and go, oh my God. Yeah. Yes, get that shit off the roof. Give him all the money back, fix his goddamn roof. Yes. Yeah. If that system had been inspected and the inspector... Was independent. Was independent and saw that, he mm. would never pass that. I mean, I feel, feel horrible for the guy, but I suspect if he'd Googled reviews of that company mm -hmm. and looked on multiple review sites, he wouldn't have gone with them. Yes. Yeah, if you go with a good company, they're not going to do this, and 
if they make a mistake and do something wrong, they will fix it. Without being forced to. Without being forced to. <laughs> In April, New South Wales Fair Trading refused to renew Bell Solar's electrical contractor licence after it received 255 inquiries and complaints about the company. And they can do that because in New South Wales, you need an electrical contractor's license to sell solar. Mm -hmm. So they can't just rely on the subcontractors. So that's where it works. I would argue they need to be a bit more proactive in removing those electrical licenses, not wait for so many complaints, but. Australians installed three gigawatts of rooftop solar last year. And the Victorian Ombudsman says now is the time to strengthen consumer protections. It is a concern for, for all of us to ensure that we've got adequate coverage of all the energy related issues that customers should be able to complain about. Do your homework, do obviously. Your research. Yes. Do your research, but yep. even then it's hard because you don't know what to look for. Despite the difficulties, I think this is a new emerging technology and I would really strongly encourage people to join in. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been, well bite, I've been biting my tongue. Oh, ow. What do, what do you want to say? I just want to say that I've spent the last 12 years trying to solve this problem. Yeah. I think I've done an all right job with solar yeah, I think quotes. you've done a pretty damn good job. Um, they talked about having a one-stop shop to go to for your research for the layman. Mm -hmm. I think we've got that. If you go to solarquotes.com.au and you click start here, residential, Pretty much every problem um, that Wayne, the poor guy, the first case study made, um, almost all the things, all the mistakes he made wrong are covered and they're highlighted in the in our Solar 101. Don't put the inverter in full sun, etc., etc., etc. The other thing is because the Clean Energy Council approved solar retailer scheme, in our opinion, is ineffective. We've developed our own vetting procedure, which we've honed over the last 12 years, and now we're so confident in it, we are actually, as of this week formally guaranteeing that if you go through solar quotes and you go through the get quote system up to three quotes one two or three and you choose one of the installers that we refer who by definition has been vetted and then they don't deliver what they promise they don't do a good installation we will work with that installer to get it resolved and 99 percent of the time that installer is more than happy to do that because they're good installer that's dropped the ball and they're horrified in a rarely unusual uh, situation where, for whatever reason, they refuse to fix the installation, which is really, really unusual. It has happened, but it's so rare, we can guarantee that we will pay for and engage another installer to fix the problem. Uh, this week, we're formalizing that as a guarantee in writing on the site. And we can only do that because after 560 odd thousand uh, requests for quotes, we've got the data to show that it won't bankrupt us and we can safely do that um, because our vetting so sound. Finn's done about as much good as he can do on the private sector side of things. If the government, state governments, can improve the inspection of solar, that, I think, is what we need to move forward with consumer protection for solar in this country.